As I was saying, critical balance. When that nose weight fell out, I uh, didn't get it back in uh, the right spot. Uh, now I've got it in there, and uh, as you can see, because I've got such a heavy blade, I've had to use a fairly heavy weight, and uh, it needs uh, a little more direct wind than probably somebody else's would require. I'm just going to let this run for a while here so you can see that it is self-sustaining. The uh, still got the same string, or not string, but uh, heavy uh, you can hear the swivel unloading there, that ch ch noise. So you got the heavy plastic cord on it. Oops, going the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Get back in line here. So, I don't know if I'm up to a minute yet, but uh, there it is, and uh, a little more V than less helps. That's the hint I'll give you, and then everything else from there is a balance point. Self-running, as long as the uh, swivels release, or if you put a better bearing in there, which um, it'd be quite a simple matter to get some uh, small bearings on a larger end of the larger bl blade. There's some excellent bearings on the market, market these days in the smaller sizes. And I think I've accomplished my one minute plus. There you go. Well, just for sake of argument, I'm going to turn it down to the next speed lower, see if it'll sustain in the uh, lower speed. There. Seems to be doing all right. If we get an opposing wind, though, it could stop at any time because it's the fan doesn't uh, keep it up. And I'm going to go down one more notch on the fan. the lowest speed on the fan and as you can see it did slow down each time I turned the fan down. And then back up one notch. Speeds up the rotation slightly. And one more notch up. And we're back up to a higher speed. On the lower speeds, the uh, pivots, the um, swivels unload. You don't hear them so much, but uh, with the pressure you get against the string on the higher speed, um, the swivels only release every third or fourth round of the uh, the V blade. There, I called it the right name. <laughs>